Hello and welcome to part 3 of meshes uh, that we're going to use for this tornado. So in the first part we made the uh, main tornado mesh. Uh, next we looked into swirls by extracting some of the shapes from the main tornado and using it to uh, get those swirls. And finally in this video let's look into a spiral. So I'm going to get spiral. Oops. Uh, spiral. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. And as you can see, it's a very simple tool. I'm gonna get height of it to actually minus value because I want this spiral to uh, go from the floor, let's say, to uh, half of the tornado. I could probably raise it um, even higher, but I could do it in the engine. I just need a slight ramp in terms of uh, height like this and I think that should be enough and trying to think if I need anything here so feel free to go through all those settings and see if uh, you can find something that's going to actually uh, be interesting for you I think three turns might be a little bit too much for that spiral so I'm going to go with uh, two uh, let's see output attributes I'm going to get the distance because I think it might be useful when we're going to apply some vertex color to it so I think that would be it for the uh, for the curve. Now I'm going to use axis align just to make sure it actually sits on the floor uh, perfectly. Oops, not this one. Axis uh, align. So I'm going to set the min on Y. Perfect. And next I'm going to get this uh, gradient. So gradient lapse color here and I'm going to apply it using the attribute. So right now this is the guess is wide and we've got a uh, a gradient here. So I'm going to place the white color somewhere around uh, maybe 0.3 at 0.7 as well. And at the end I'm just going to place the, uh, the black color. So I think currently it sets on a on the ramp, so kind of works as well. But let me see if we can change this to a uh, color attribute, maybe. Okay, position no, uh, remap attribute. And in here, we've got this dense distance parameter. So I think it's uh, working. Although not so much. Okay, what if we're gonna remap it? So compute range, perfect. And seems to be correct now. Okay, so I'm gonna set this back to 0.3. Cool. Alright, so we have to compute the range here just to make sure it's gonna do the calculation for us. And it seems like we can actually set up a nice vertex color based on this uh, distance attribute that we got from the spiral node. Awesome. Uh, next, let's add a sweep node to it. And I'm going to select uh, input to be a ribbon. As you can see, the vertex color is being applied already. For the columns, I'm just going to go with uh, one. I'm going to hit no caps and I'm going to enable uh, the curve. For the curve, maybe I want this to start from around 0.2, reversed actually. No, actually, that might be good. Yeah, so I want this white to be at the at the floor, at the bottom, and then it could scale um, down slightly towards the uh, center of the tornado. Okay. I think I'd like this align it to be um, slightly different, a bit more flat like this. So if you're a player and you are uh, slightly higher, obviously, than the ground, you can have a clear view of uh, that one. Cool. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, let's go to width because I think I'm going to need a lot more width. So maybe 0.65. Awesome. So we're going to display a lot more texture using that one. Okay. I think that will be it for the colors. Um, I think our normal is being inverted. So I'm just going to use a reverse node 
awesome and I'm gonna apply some UVs as well so first step would be to go to the uh, sweep node and normalize my UV so they fit into 0 to 1 space like this and if you want to rotate them you can do it either here but I'm probably gonna do it in the engine using the custom rotator uh, node so I can have a slightly a more flexibility in the shader rather than rotating my UVs here because I'm just not sure if I have to rotate them okay so I think that's it very short video uh, I just hope that you're gonna use the spiral because there's uh, many uses of it you can use the uh, use it for uh, swirls as well however I just needed a, a base to create that kind of wind effect on the ground that goes towards the uh, tornado so I use the spiral uh, node for that or actually I would like to apply maybe the vertex color to the outer edges so in here I'm just gonna get group uh, change it to edges unsharp edges I'm gonna name this outside underscore edge get the color node outside edge perfect and set the color to black and now I think we have a nice a gradient being applied to the edge as well okay cool and last bit I'm just gonna drag this onto my transform that I have for my other meshes which is the swirl and the main mesh and just get the game engine scale and export it as it is maybe I don't need as much geometry but the cool thing about Houdini is I can go back and tweak it based on my needs but first I'm just gonna export it to the engine see how it looks there and if I have to make any adjustments I can come back to my graph and use the slider for it all right so very short one uh, last one in this uh, tornado series I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're gonna experiment with the uh, various shapes because I think with the spiral tool and with those that we covered in the previous parts you can create some really cool shapes in Houdini all right thank you so much for watching